it is very critical in cosmic chemistry to know something about the characteristics of the various chemical elements. Now a colleague of mine started to make this uh, cosmochemical periodic table of the elements and I continue this. And most of this is quite self-explanatory. So I will only go very briefly to a few of these things here. Now for each element there are a couple of information, like for example the 50% condensation temperature here. But of course the elements do not condense as elements, but usually inside other phases or minerals. And this is the condensing phase here, so manganese, for example, goes into foresight or anisotide. Then there's something like the melting point or the solar abundance, which is often quite helpful, but also the CI concentration, which is used quite often. And there's the most common oxidation number, the atomic weight, and this is also quite handy here. This is an oxide element conversion factor, which means that if in a publication there is not manganese, but manganese oxide, um, you can use this conversion conversion factor to easily recalculate manganese from manganese oxide. But also the other way around, if there's manganese and you need manganese oxide, you just take the inverse of this conversion factor. And also a couple of information to the isotopes. So here there's the number of stable isotopes, um, or long-lived and short-lived radioactive isotopes, and the most important radioactive um, nuclide, and also something about the decay um, mode here. And then there's the, the color scheme, which is resolved down here. So in reddish, these are the refractory elements. In this yellowish, these are the main elements. And then the volatile and highly volatile elements. And here are the 50% condensation temperature ranges for these various um, cosmochemical characteristics here. And then the fields are either plain or have, this, um, have these lines. And the lines are indicate that these are siderophile elements, something like palladium, platinum, iridium, and so on, are of course siderophile elements, while manganese, chromium, or aluminum, silicon, and so on, these are all the lithophile elements. And finally, the elements have uh, some colors, like black is the typical aggregate on Earth, it's, it's solid, and blue, like um, mercury and bromium is um, liquid, and the green ones are in a, in a gas state, but of course this applies more to the Earth. And um, so this is quite a handy little table for cosmochemistry that can be used to um, quickly show up all the various characteristics.